I am Anil Kumar and here is an excellent question on maximum and minimum volume. The question is, find the dimensions of the right circular cone of minimum volume which can be circumscribed about a sphere of radius 12 cm. So circumscribed means which comes over the sphere. So we have a cross section here where the sphere of radius 12 centimeters shown here. So let's say this is 12 centimeters, the radius of the sphere, which is being circumscribed by a cone. So cross section of the cone will be a triangle. We need to find the dimensions of this triangle with minimum volume, right? So dimensions means you need to find the height of the triangle. That is one thing. And then the radius of the triangle. So these are the two things you need to find. So let us say height is h and radius is r for us right so this is the radius which we need to find for the particular triangle which represents a cone in this particular case right so as you can see let's define some variables let us say this is the center of the sphere and from the center if i draw a line to the surface of this cone they form tangent so that is 90 degrees let's call this point as p and let me call this big triangle as A, B, and C. In that case, triangle A, B, C, which is a right triangle, is similar to triangle A, P, O, which is also a right triangle, since both have one right triangles and a common angle, right? So angle A is common, and these two are 90 degrees, so they are similar triangles. So we can say triangle A, B, C is similar to triangle A, P, O, right? Since they are similar, they will have corresponding sides in a fixed ratio. So, so AO, let it be, let us say, a parameter Y. In that case, AP is going to be square root of Y square minus 12 square. So 12 square minus 12 square, which is 144. Let's write 12 square for the time being. So that is AP. Now, from the similar conditions, we can say side opposite to the angle A, which is R, over, for the smaller triangle it is 12, equals to uh, this height, which is Y plus 12, for the big triangle. This side is opposite to angle C, right? So, angle C is equal to angle O in the small triangle, so, which corresponds to square root of y square minus 12 square right so that is how r is related okay now from here we can know what r is it is 12 times all this right now what we will do is we'll see find a relation for volume volume of the cone is equal to 1 by 3 pi r square times height where r is this so now we know one we can write this here as 1 by 3 pi r square r is all this 12 times all this right so we'll say 12 square let me write 12 square times y plus 12 whole square divided by y square minus 12 right so 12 square i should write 12 square times height times height, which is sum of y and 12. So we'll write this as uh, y plus 12. Is it okay? So that is how you can relate these two. Now this could be simplified. So we say volume equals to 1 by 3 pi. So 12 square, let me write 144 for 12 now. So 144. And y square minus 12, y plus 12, this could factor as y plus 12 times y minus 12. So one of them will get cancelled. So we have <coughs> y plus 12 whole square. Uh, let me write here y plus 12, cancel and then simplify, divided by y plus 12 times y minus 12, right? So I just factored this. So <coughs> now we can cancel y plus 12 and write this volume as equals to 1 over 3 pi times 144 times y plus 12 whole square divided by y minus 12. Okay, so that is what you get here. So this is volume in terms of y. 
So if we find the derivative of this volume with respect to y, uh, what do we get? So we get 144, you could actually divide and simplify this a bit, but I'm not doing it at present. 144 over 3 pi, I'm just writing these numbers as such, times the derivative of this function, which is, let me write in brackets, denominator square, which is y minus 12 whole square, right? And here, derivative of this function is 2 times y plus 12 times y minus 12, y minus 12, minus derivative of this is 1 times derivative of this function, which is y plus 12 whole square, right? So that is what you get. Now, you can simplify the terms inside, which is, we could do this as, 144 pi over 3 and within brackets we have if you open this you get uh, y plus 12 is common so let me take y plus 12 common so we get y plus 12 and within brackets I get 2 times y minus 12 so 2 times y minus 12 and here we get minus y plus 12 right divided by y minus 12 whole square right so that is what you get so let's simplify it further we get 144 pi over 3 and within brackets uh, y plus 12 is common. I mean, we took this common. Let me, I forgot to make a bracket here. Okay. okay. So, y plus 12 times, within brackets we get 2y minus 24 and minus y minus 12. Everything divided by y minus 12 whole square. Correct? Now, for the critical number, this should be equal to zero right now this can be zero if my term here is is, is zero so let, let me simplify this term here first before equating it to zero which we could say as 144 pi over 3 and within brackets y plus 12 and here what do we have 2y minus y is y minus 12 minus 24 is minus 36 divided by y minus 12 whole square right so this is what you get and if you equate this to 0 that means y is equals to 36 right so then only it is 0 so we get y equals to 36 so our critical number is y equals to 36 since that gives us 0 right so y equals to 36 is your critical number so for y equals to 36 we can find what height is so for y equals to 36 height is equals to 12 plus 36 right 12 plus 36 which is 48 and the radius will be we can say 12 times y is 36 for us 36 plus 12 divided by square root of uh, y is 36 36 square minus 12 square right so that is the value which we can calculate using the calculator so uh, denominator let me first find denominator itself which is square root of 36 square minus 12 square equals to 24 square root 20 so we write 12 times 24 square root 2 and the numerator is 36 plus 12 which is 48 right 48 so if I calculate this we have 12 times 48 divided by 24 with let me write divide by 24 and then we'll divide this by square root 2 okay so we get this as equals to 12 square root right so 12 square root 2 becomes the radius so that is at the critical point well we need to prove that this indeed is the minimum right so can you do that part so you can pause the video and prove that this is indeed a critical point now to prove this what should we do 
we should analyze the point, right? So we know that the derivative is equals to 144 pi over 3 and within the brackets we have y plus 12 times y minus 36 divided by y minus 12 whole square right so that is what we have so we'll take the test points close to y equals to 36 right so 36 so we could take a point which is let us say slightly more than 36 let us say 40 and a point which is less than 36 let us say 30 in that case what happens to the derivative rate of change of volume with respect to y so if I substitute 30 here 30 minus 36 is negative so I get negative on this side and if I substitute 40 I get positive value so negative means that the tangent is going downwards and positive means upwards and that clearly indicates minimum correct so that is how you could say that this point which is a critical point is indeed the minimum so so answer for minimum volume is r equals to 12 square root 2 centimeters and height equals to 48 centimeters right so that is how you can solve this question right so let me push this page a bit on the side so that you can see all the values i hope that helps now the critical thing here is to find a relation between r and height so we took height as combination of radius of the sphere plus y and then worked it out with similar triangles right and then find the derivative and equate it to zero to find critical point it is important to show that this critical number really represents the minimum for the given question. I hope that helps. I'm Anil Kumar. You can subscribe to my videos and learn a lot. Thank you and all the best.